Do you want an idol in AT&T? What? This video is all about that. You can report it after this video ends. Before knowing where the idol is, you should know how I found it. Actually, I was not testing for idol. I was testing for SSRF in AT&T for one of my videos. That's when I found this idol. In my video on critical bug bounty, I have shown a unique way of finding SSRF and also live tested it on AT&T. That's when I got a DNS look back. You need to go to the description and choose AT&T live testing. Just a DNS lookup means no SSRF. I have explained the reason in this video. But that's when I took a closer look at the URL. I saw that my collaborator link was given after QID equals the collaborator link. Then what was in the place of that QID? That led to the discovery of IDOR. I opened up my terminal and used the grep to get the specific URL out of my list of URLs. When I opened it, I got access to a specific person's address and many other sensitive data. I even got edit access on it without any authorization. I just needed to know the correct UUID. So I reported it to at and security team and they said a single UUID is not enough to prove the IDOR. They said I need at least 5 more user data to prove it. So I thought 5 more user data means 5 more UUIDs. First I started by pulling all the URLs related to at and from Internet Archive and anywhere possible. It didn't go as expected. It was a headache task. Then I tried and another method. At that time, I came across a Twitter post about default UUIDs, which means putting zeros and ones in that place. In that report, it was the ID used by the admin. But it didn't work. IDOR was a new thing for me at that time. After a little more research, I found there is a way to guess UUID using the pattern of the UUID. So, with the ID I have in my hand and other IDs I saw in the URLs, I tried to derive a pattern to guess other UUIDs. I spent a week on it and it didn't work. And also I lost the curiosity for hunt for it. So, this is your chance. If you have the hunger and curiosity to go after this and find 5 more UUIDs, then you will get a bounty from at and So, happy hunting. In my coming videos, I will explain the method I am using to hunt for bugs. In the coming videos, we will go in depth in testing each and every section to find specific bugs we are looking for. So subscribe and stay tuned. In my channel, I have done videos on specific bug classes. You can also check it out. And I have a channel for creating bug bounty content in Malayalam. I do videos on bug bounty. API hacking, APK hacking and reverse engineering.